Today, we're gonna to be talking about how to get the perfect backswing, and more specifically, how to get... Today, we're gonna to be talking about how to get the perfect backswing with an alignment stick. That's all you're gonna need for today. So I know that winter's coming up, and for a lot of people, it means the end of golf season. The good news is that you don't have to be on the golf course to improve your swing. If you're already a subscriber, welcome. Welcome back. Always so lovely to have you. Thank you so much for all your support. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe and that notification button. We post weekly tips just like this one to help you improve your golf game. So let's get going. Today, we're gonna be talking about the backswing and how we can use this alignment stick to get ourselves on plane and in the correct positions. So what I really believe in the golf swing is that it's all about setup. So you can kind of think about the backswing being the setup for the downswing. Now the downswing is so fast and it has so much momentum I really don't think you can do much with the downswing. You know, it's gonna go wherever it's gonna go. And so that's why it's so important for us to get into the right positions on the backswing so we can set ourselves up for success. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take an alignment stick. If you don't have an alignment stick, you can go ahead and just use another club. I'm actually gonna be setting up with a slight forward press. Our next step of the swing is what we're gonna call P2. This stick is going to be parallel to the ground. So it's gonna be right here. So we're gonna go here and here. And we're gonna feel a very wide swing. We wanna make sure we're not swaying to get that wideness. But if we just turn and have this be our first position, then we're in good shape. Next, we're gonna go into P3. P3 is gonna be when we're starting to hinge while our shoulders are turning. So on P3, your club is going to be directly across your shoulder blade. And from face on, you're gonna make sure that the stick is pointing at the ball. You know you're too laid off when your stick is pointing horizontally or if it's pointing behind you. This is how you're gonna know. This is where your P3 position is going to be. Next, we just have to turn. What we're gonna imagine is a straight line through your ball. So pretty much your target line. And after P3, when we get into P4, which is gonna be the full turn, and the top of the backswing is going to be pulling that stick straight across that line. So you're gonna come, P1 is set up, P2 is stick parallel to the ground. P3 is stick pointing at the ball. And P3 is stretching it across that line. Today's video is brought to you by the Live Green Is Sock. We at Is designed each collection with special quotes on the bottom of the sole so you could bring with you on and off the course. We have two meanings for Live Green green and on the course and off the course definition so on the course we want you to get on the putting green with as little strokes as possible and off the course we would want to encourage you to live consciously and sustainably this particular collection is super special to me because live green is one of our main mottos all socks are made with 70% upcycled material, including coffee grounds collected from local coffee shops and plastic bottles collected from recycling centers. If you are a first time customer, go ahead and enjoy 15% off your first order with code COMFORT. We guarantee they will be your favorite socks on and off the course. We're gonna go from the POV angle. This is gonna be P1. We're just gonna make sure our stick is to the left of us. P2 is going to be, the stick is parallel to the ground. And P3 
is going to be stick pointing at the ball. Now we need to get to P4 and we're gonna drag the stick directly behind the ball, okay? And turn our shoulders. clubs, whether it's a driver or a wedge or a long iron. And the reason for this is because each club is a different length. All right, folks, that's a wrap. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that really helped you understand the backswing and how to swing it on plane to optimize your downswing. Again, thank you so much for all your support. I truly could not do it without you. Every like, every comment, every share really help fund my business. Don't forget to comment down below to let me know what areas of the game you're struggling in and I will do my best to help. My philosophy is really to take bits and pieces of swing philosophies and put my own twist on it. So if I can help just one person out there, then I am very fulfilled and happy. Not everything I say is going to resonate with you, but you can really just take the things that work and leave the things that don't work with your swing. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button so you don't miss a video. And we'll see you next time, bye.